Hey guys, Sean B. Martin here, and I am hiding behind my, my big uh, secret world edit wall. This is where I do all my plotting. Um, my video went really long last time, that's why it kind of expired right after I got set on fire and didn't actually get to put stuff out of fire. <laughs> and after I did that, I, I did this. I made a, a, a sphere like Mentium made. and. If you're curious how to do this and you can't figure it out just from watching the episode that Mentium did it in, which I will link in the info, or you can't figure it out by me just showing you right now, let me know and I will make a uh, I will make that a point in my fourth episode to do that again. Uh, but there are lots of other things I want to cover and there have been lots of great comments that I want to get to, so we're just going to stick with what I had in mind already. So uh, let's uh, redo a little bit. I'm going to review the brush. We're going to make a cylinder. We're going to make it out of blue to be different from the red cylinders. We'll do three and now we'll do two and four. So it's kind of the same height as width. Um, okay, so the normal cylinder, like the ones that I made here, when you right click, you are clicking on a block that will become that cylinder's bottom middle block. Okay? Every time I click, it's creating a cylinder that the bottom is based where I'm clicking. Um, I can click all over here and make a whole bunch of cylinders. And uh, one of the comments that you guys have mentioned is that the undo and redo functions have steps. You don't have to simply undo one thing at a time. And I I knew that, but I was I was just trying to leave things a little less complicated as I went along. I'm building this. I'm a te I, I was trained as a teacher. I'm, we're building on previous lessons. That's the way it works. So uh, we're going to undo. You can. I think you can undo up to five steps. I don't think you can do more than that. But uh, you can then step through. You know, uh, there I redid those three. And now I can undo two and just leave the one. I can redo three. Now I have four and undo two. And now I only have two, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. It works exactly the way you think it would. Now, uh, let me show you something else that I haven't gotten to show you. The reason I'm pointing out to you that when you do that, it places it on the center of the bottom is because you don't have to do it that way. You can actually kind of inject the cylinder sphere, whatever your brush is, into a material. So for instance, it's called a mask, and I'm going to write mask, and I'm going to mask two and three. Item ID two is grass. It's dirt with grass on it, and three is dirt with no grass. So I'm going to use both of those. Now when I right click and I'm facing dirt, either with grass or without grass, it injects the cylinder right into it. And you'll see like it didn't make a full cylinder because this part out here is air. So the, the mask doesn't count that. It ignores it. But uh, yeah, this is the way the mask works. So um, the way that Mentium put those big blotches of glowstone is he did something like this. He set a uh, sphere on his, oh, I'm sorry, brush sphere. And then he did glowstone, which is item ID 89. And then he did a radius of something like, he, he did a couple different ones. So uh, we'll do like this size. And then uh, he just set the mask for obsidian. I, my mask is already set for dirt, so we're just going to do this. And see, there you go. Now the second thing you guys commented on, including uh, SK89K himself, uh, the creator of World Edit, thank you sir for commenting, is that I don't freaking know how to put out fires. So <laughs> I'm going to show you how to actually do it the correct way. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a big mess of lava. I'm going to back up. Uh, that's that's too big. I'm going to inset it one. Set lava. Okay, now what you guys all pointed out to me, and you're very astute, and I wish I had realized it. There are two different types of lava. There's there's flowing lava, and there's still lava. And the, the ones at the top are still lava. See, you can see them right there. They're not moving. I'm on fire again. I hate being on fire. I need a pool of water just to put myself out. Oh, I feel so much better. So the way that you have to fight this, and yes, 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 I will get to the other way in a second. I'm, just let me do it this way. I want to. I want everyone to understand. Oh, I killed a cow. I want everyone to understand every way to do each thing. This is a tutorial where I explain everything. That's that's. I want everyone to know any way to do anything. Okay, so I've completely encompassed the lava, as you can see. Now the two item IDs for lava, 
still and oh, can you hear that my throat is sore my voice is starting to go the item ids for lava are 10 and 11 so you can replace 10 comma 11 with air and that's all you have to do but if you don't want to do that there's another function you can use if you have the ability to stand in the lava which i do eventually is uh you can use the drain function so I'm just going to type drain, and then you have to type a radius. And it's pretty small, so I'll do a radius of 10. And uh, there you go. That got rid of it, too. The problem with drain is if you're anywhere near things that you don't want to drain, as you may have seen in the episode with the Mentium Sphere, um, you can accidentally drain large sections. <laughs> he accidentally drained part of my ocean. But it was okay. We put it right back. Okay, and to go along with the drain function, I think it's probably important for me to show you something else. Uh, people have problems constantly with uh, running water that they can't get to, you know, sit in the place that they want it to sit, and they have to go around and keep putting blocks around every edge to get it to try and stop being the current. Well, World Edit makes that really, really easy to fix. Uh, you just have to jump in the water at the level that you want the water to be still. So I'm standing at it right now. And then you type fix water and then a radius. Um, this is pretty small, so you only need a radius of a couple. But uh, yeah, fix water, uh, fix lava works exactly the same way. That is a very helpful tool. I use it all the time. Finally, last comment or tip that I was given, um, when you type multiple things that you want to be in a section, uh, like when I made the sphere of all the different materials and I made them add up to 100%, Someone pointed out to me that you don't have to do that. You can actually use uh, ratios, and it'll work exactly the same way. So I'm going to show you something I haven't shown you before. If you use the replace function and don't tell it what you want it to replace, it will replace anything that's not air. So right now I've got this huge section of mountain selected, and I'm going to replace, um, and I'm not going to say what I want it to replace. I'm just going to say what I want it to be filled with. And we're going to use that new trick of ratios instead of uh, adding up to 100. So for instance, I'm going to do one of black, comma, one of white, and two of red. Now the way I understand this should work, and this is the first time I'm trying it, so hopefully it does work, is that it'll be, it adds up to four, so we're going to get a ratio of two out of four to red, one out of four is white, and one out of four is black. And there you go. It worked exactly the way it should. Okay, so that is a very helpful tip that was sent in by, wait, I'm finding you, Dare Claudius. Actually, Dare Claudius, you sent in a whole bunch of very helpful comments. I really appreciate it. Keep them coming. They're great. Okay, so uh, here are some other things that I wanted to cover for you guys. I still have not actually filled you in on all of the selection tools, so let's cover a few more. I'm going to run over there to be uh, away from my stuff and be a little bit safer. If you want to select the entire chunk that you're standing on, and a chunk is, I want to say 32 by 32, I'm not positive right now, that's probably going to come back to bite me, uh, we are going to do slash slash chunk, and uh, there you can see, oh, I didn't, I've never tried it with this mod on, so you can see how many it is very easily. Let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, th that's why I wasn't ready to commit. It's 16 by 16. Um, now, this entire chunk, you can see, I, hopefully the encoder did a good job of showing you this. Um, you can see it goes all the way down to bedrock and the entire way up to the sky. Bedrock is level 0, sky is 128. So uh, if you select chunk, you can, I mean, you can manipulate the chunk however you want. Um, <laughs> you can delete it and uh, falling through this area at the bottom is bad news uh, you'll you'll glitch uh, I think you can fly back out of it you can also use unstuck and you can use spawn but yeah you'll be stuck down there hello I guess I found some caves <laughs> uh, we're gonna get out of here and undo and then um, so that's how you can select a chunk easily. It'll just select the 16 by 16 chunk you're standing on. If you want to select a different area, not a chunk, but you still want it to go from bedrock to sky, uh, for instance, I selected that little two by two there, you can then type slash slash expand vert. And it didn't do it. Did it do it? 
Why didn't it show the change? Let's find out. Okay, well it definitely did it. Um, that's the first thing I've seen the mod fail at. It doesn't like expand vert for some reason. Well, it definitely works. Expand vert. There you go. Okay, I just checked my time for this video and I can't believe it, but we were already running close and there's something else I want to show you before we go. So I'm going to make a sand sphere on my brush. I don't know how to make it though. Brush, sphere, sphere, s sand, five. I wanted to say yes that it is raised. Why is that not working? Brush, sphere, five sand, yes? What is it asking me? Brush, sphere, sand, five. Okay, well that works. Why? Okay, okay. Anyway, there we go. Okay, that that's what... I didn't want them flat though. I wanted them standing on top. Okay, well it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm just going to keep rolling with this. Um, what, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm making... Uh, a, a big. I'm, I'm gonna build up this mountain here, and I'm gonna do that by adding a whole bunch of sand spheres. And you'll notice as I hit them, every so often they'll fall a little bit. Ah, oh, see. Da -da 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 -da. And uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill it in until it looks kind of natural-ish, and then you're going to hit it with some air spheres. <laughs> That sounds really silly and maybe a little bit dirty. You're going to hit it with some air sphere. Ooh, oh, no. I, I should not be clicking so fast. Okay, yeah, there we go. You're going to hit it with a brush uh, sphere, and you're going to make it out of air. And we'll do a little bit smaller. We'll, uh, we'll do three. And you're going to knock out some chunks, uh, level it out a little bit, make it a little more random, get rid of those plateaus and the things sticking out of the side. And... Uh, Oh, I should be careful. I'm still getting some nat unnatural looking formations like those. Okay, well, you can... Oh no, <laughs> did you see what I just did? <laughs> I reached past it and hit the wall. Um, yeah, okay, uh, it's it's all right. It's not, it's not my best work, but I'm running really close on time here. And then, uh, then what you can do is you can select the whole area, which I'm going to do, or you can set a brush mask like I already showed you. And uh, you can just start hitting it and converting it all to dirt or whatever. I'm going to go up 10, make that my second block, and we are going to replace sand with grass. Okay, see, uh, that is not too bad. Um, I'm pretty happy with it, but there's a lot of bumps. There's a lot of bumps all over the place, not that many smooth areas. See how, see how uh, like perfectly stepped that is? So the way you're going to fix that is you're going to use a smooth brush. You're going to type brush smooth. And then a radius, and the radius is, again, it's doubled, so don't go too large. I'm going to do three. And then how many iterations you want to smooth. And someone who's a little more technical, feel free to explain that in the comments. I'm just going to pick two, and we're going to see how that goes. And then you right-click, and you right-click until you get uh, these, uh, the, the smoothness that you wanted. So as, as you can see, I'm trying to get this to kind of even out a little bit with the area around it. And look at how well it's working. Uh, that's exactly what the smooth brush is supposed to do. I am constantly right-clicking. That's what I'm doing. And uh, it's making the land look much more natural than it would if I had just left it the way it was. Pretty cool? Pretty cool. And uh, that does it for world editing with SVM part 3. Missed some sand. <laughs> Whoops. I'll fix that later. That's the way I do it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.